Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right, today is December 27th. We are 55 days away from the Great American Race, the 2022 Daytona 500. Whew, we are getting there. We are almost halfway there. Um, we are at 55. We started at 100. We're going to end the morning of the 500 at zero and double zero. So number 55 ran in the NASCAR Truck Series, Camping World Truck Series, from 1995 to 2020. Just 98 starts. Three top fives, eight top tens. Of those 98 starts, 61 for the Ford, 28 Dodge, 9 Chevrolet. Um, Ted, Tom Powers, 26 starts. Ron Barfield Jr., 24 starts. One top five, three top tens. The late Tony Roper, 20 starts. One top five, three top tens. Dave Rezendis, haven't heard of that number in a while. I heard the name in a while. Eight starts, one top ten. In the NASCAR Xfinity Series, 1982 through 2018, 332 starts, 2 wins, 18 top 5s, 42 top 10s. Of those 332 starts, 129 for Ford, 128 for Chevrolet, 31 for Toyota, 25 Pontiac, 15 Oldsmobile, and 3 Dodge. Tim Fidewa, 382 starts, 1 win, 6 top 5s, 16 top 10s. Jamie Dick, 43 starts. Robbie Gordon, 39 starts, 1 win, 7 top 5s, 13 top 10s. Michael Rich, 23 starts. Bobby Dodder, 15 starts, 1 top 10. Phil Parsons, 10 starts, 4 top 5s, 5 top 10s. Mark Green, 10 starts. Now, I knew, when I think of the number 55, there's so many different drivers I think of in the NASCAR Cup Series. Michael Waltrip, obviously, Phil Parsons, Kenny Wallace, Bobby Hamilton. I did not realize how many drivers drove a significant number of races in the 55. So in the NASCAR Cup Series, from 1949 to 2021, the number 55 had 1,108 starts, 13 wins, 94 top fives, 234 top tens. Of those 1,100 plus starts, 314 by Chevrolet, 303 by Toyota, 192 for Ford, 163 for Oldsmobile, 78 for Pontiac, and 55 for Dodge. Michael Waltrip leads the way with 130 starts, 3 top 5s, 9 top 10s. Tiny Lund, 119 starts, 4 wins, 24 top 5s, 48 top 10s. Ted Musgrave drove the 55 car for a short time. He drove 87 races, had 3 top 5s, and 12 top 10s. As I'm going through this, I'm like, Ted Musgrave, 55. That looks, in my brain, that looks really familiar. I had to look it up. Um, it was the Jasper engines the year before, uh, two years before they switched to the 77. They were the 55. I'm like, okay, that's actually, Tim Musgrave 55 sounded so familiar. I had to go look it up just to kind of make my brain go, wait, that's right. <laughs> Phil Parsons. I remember Phil Parsons driving the 55. 86 starts, one win, nine top five is 25 top tens. Kenny Wallace, a square D for Eddie Petrie, 68 starts. Four top fives, 11 top tens. Bobby Hamilton, yep, 55 car, 67 starts, one win, three top fives, 10 top tens. Benny Parsons, I remember when he drove the 55 Copenhagen car. 66 races, one win, 17 top fives, 30 top tens. Brian Vickers, if I think about it, like I can picture Brian Vickers in the 55, 60 starts, one win, eight top fives, 19 top tens. Junior Johnson, 42 starts, one win, Five top fives, 17 top tens. Mark Martin took me a little bit of that. It's like my brain cannot picture Mark Martin in the 55. But after a minute, I'm like, that does sound familiar. 39 starts, five top fives, and 13 top tens. As I've done this, to just, you know, again, I started watching NASCAR in 1986. So through the 90s, I was really hardcore about, obviously then we didn't have the internet. So it's like you would go down and get the morning paper, Write the stats down. I'd keep track of everything and try to see how accurate I could be compared to what they would show on the TV. I mean, I could literally write the car numbers down at the end of the race and be and know exactly who drove what car. Every year, I got a notebook out. I wrote down number zero through 99. And then as during the off season, as they would announce stuff, I would write it down. Daytona Speed Weeks, Speed Channel would be free. I'd be like, okay, I'd be writing down who's driving what car. Now you just look it up on the internet. <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was, I can remember, you know, the 90s doing that. 
Um, it's like so many different numbers, like just you can associate with different drivers. But that is the number 55. We're 55 days away till Daytona. Cannot wait. It's going to be a super great season in 2022. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. And don't just have a great day. That was 50 Day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports content.